The weather is finally getting warmer and the school year is coming to an end and with that it is summer vacation. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to romanticize your summer vacation and have the most memorable break. If you're new here don't forget to subscribe and let's get right into the video. I'm so happy right now because I just submitted my very last assignment for the semester which means I'm officially on a summer vacation and I know a lot of you guys are also going to be on summer vacation very soon so I thought I would get up this video on how to romanticize your summer vacation and like give you ideas on things to do and stuff like that. Before we start any of this, I'm going to make a vision board and a bucket list. This is completely optional, but I just love getting into the spirit. So of course, I want to make a bucket list and a vision board. Making a vision board is super, super easy. I just first go on to Pinterest and make a board. I already have a summer board because I've been preparing for this for a long time. Save a bunch of inspiration to my board and then I'll save it to my laptop. Now there's lots of different programs you can use to make a vision board. I personally like using Canva because it's free and it's super easy to use. All you have to do is drag in all your pictures, format it the way you want, and then save it to your laptop. I love turning it into my desktop wallpaper. You can also turn it into your phone wallpaper. You can also print out these pictures and put it on your wall. There's so many options for what you can do with this inspiration. Continuously saving things to my Pinterest board it just makes me so excited for summer. It also gives me inspiration on activities I can do. Okay, I have my little wallpaper here. I added a bunch of pictures that I want to see this summer basically. Got lots of pool and beach stuff, some thrifting stuff. I want to go to a clay room and like paint pottery so I have like a little picture of that there. Lots of food, fresh fruit, and picnics and just like stuff that embodies summer. I also like to make a list of things to do, not necessarily like a bucket list because I feel like a bucket list has a lot of pressure in terms of like completing it but I do like to have a list of ideas just in case. So on my Notion I'm just going to create a page and then add a bunch of stuff that I want to do this summer. next tip for romanticizing your summer is to document your memories. I feel like it's a 50-50. Some people like to take pictures of everything, video everything, document everything, and then some people like to live in the moment. So I think I have something for both groups here. Part of what makes summer so memorable is to be able to look back on it and see the amazing pictures, videos, and memories that you made. So I definitely recommend taking lots of pictures and videos. You can get a disposable camera, have that with you all around summer. That's a really great way to to still be in the moment because you won't be on your phone as much trying to get the picture. You can take one picture and then go, especially if it's a film or disposable camera. Maybe even sharing those memories, whether you want to start a vlog channel, make Instagram reels, start a TikTok, just make a photo dump Instagram page. I just love documenting what's happening in my life. And because you'll have all this documentation, you'll look back at your summer and you'll know exactly what you did and you'll be able to look back on it in years to come and know like, Summer 2022 was a great summer. Okay, the next thing that is literally my favorite thing to do, if you know me at all, you know I love this, and that is getting dressed up to go take pictures. I love doing photo shoots with my friends, it's so much fun. Not even because I do YouTube and Instagram full time, I just love getting dressed up and having a good time taking pictures. So we're here, we're gonna take some pictures. We're in New Yorkville. We both have pictures that we need to take for brands, so we're gonna get that done Super right now. Exciting. But it's also just really fun to go out and take pictures with your friends, whether it's for like a business reason or just like fun. It's also a really nice day, so yes. stay tuned. We stopped by the grocery store and got some flowers. They were on sale and they're honestly really pretty and there's like some eucalyptus in it. And these will be like a prop for the photos. I'm wearing this dress from JJ's house and it's so pretty. Oh my God. I love it. And the sun is so nice today. I'm like, I'm so happy. I just love taking pictures. Mm -hmm. 
I love doing photo shoots with my friends. It's so much fun. And that actually brings us into today's video sponsor. Thank you so much to JJ's House for sponsoring today's video. JJ's House has a great collection of prom dresses and special event dresses that will fit anyone's personal style. Prom season, graduation, and all those special events are coming up. So if you're looking for a dress for a special event, JJ's House is definitely the place for you to shop. They have really, really pretty high quality dresses in many different styles. They also have an online guide to finding the perfect dress for you based on your body type and skin tone and it's very very easy to find the perfect prom dress, graduation dress, or even just a dress that you want to wear out to take pictures with your friends. I got a few different dresses and shoes so I'm going to show you guys what I got. I am in love with silk slip dresses so you already know I had to get a few of those. First up I got this silk slip dress in this green color. I love this dress. It fits my body so well. You're able to do custom measurements to make sure that the dress fits your body perfectly and it's such a flattering dress and I already see myself wearing it all summer. I just love slip dresses and this is really really comfortable but also very classy. I can dress it up or dress it down a little bit for a summer day and just just look at this color. It's so pretty. My slip dress obsession did not stop there because I got the same dress again in this blue color. Also so pretty. It's the exact same as the last one but obviously it's this blue color. It's giving me very much like Cinderella vibes. Again super flattering. Such great material. Just hugs your body perfectly and I'm just in love with this. The straps are adjustable and the back has a zipper so it's super easy to get in and out of it. I also got a dress that's a little bit different than what I would usually wear but the color was just it just really caught my eye. It is this long sleeve dress. It is also like that silky material and just look how pretty it is. You'll see more of what it looks like in the try on pictures. It's honestly so pretty and I like that it's long sleeve. I like having a mix of short sleeve dresses and long sleeve dresses and I just think it's really really cute. I can see myself wearing this dress to a dinner whether maybe it's like a fancier restaurant i just i just love getting dressed up and taking pictures so this is definitely gonna be on my instagram in some pictures coming up this summer and then lastly i got a really really pretty dress this is 100 out of my comfort zone but i thought it'd be fun to get it is a super long dress it's got these beads on the straps and again it's super flattering it's so pretty has a little slit and then a zipper on the back it's just so pretty to go with the dresses of course i'm gonna need some shoes so i got a pair of these white shoes and also a pair of these black shoes i'm in love with all these dresses i think that they're so pretty such high quality if you are looking for some formal dresses click the link in my description box to check out jj's house and you can also use my code kendrick for a 10 percent off discount i love these dresses i'm literally obsessed with them and i can't wait to wear them all so definitely check out jj's house i promise you will not be disappointed the next thing that you need to do this summer is to find things to do in your town. So I live in a major city, so fortunately there is lots of stuff for me to do and lots of activities and restaurants, museums and stuff that I can go to. But if you live in a smaller town or a town where there's not as many things to do, it might be a little bit harder, but I still love going on Google and just finding things to do in my town. Maybe finding a new restaurant that you haven't tried before, a new cafe, a new park, literally anything. It's just really fun to go out and try new things. I love food, so I love trying new restaurants. I love going to cute cafes and sometimes I just end up at Starbucks and I know that Starbucks is like very basic, but you know, even just going out and getting coffee with your friend can change your day. My next tip which is probably one of my biggest tips and one of my like favorite tips I guess you could say is to take your hobby and turn it into something big. What I mean by this is if you've been wanting to start a YouTube channel, you've been wanting to start a small business, if you've been wanting to start a new hobby, this is your time to do it. I feel like throughout the school year I just want to start all these new things but then at the back of my mind I'm thinking like okay but I can't because I have school. Now that I'm not in school I have like no excuse not to start these things especially if you want to get on social media that's something that i'm very passionate about if you do want to start a business or anything like that or even just a new hobby if you want to take up knitting if you want to start a new sport this is your time to do it school isn't going to be a priority so now is the time to get it done 
My last tip for having a good summer is to reset. A lot of the times during summer, I feel the pressure to be constantly doing something, but in reality, I don't really need to be doing that. And I think the biggest thing that I should be doing is resetting from the school year. Resetting looks very different for everyone. For me, resetting is like catching up on sleep. That's a big thing for me. Self-care, getting outside to enjoy the nice weather, and also getting to the gym because I recently got a gym membership and it's honestly been so helpful. A lot of the time during the school year, it's easy to neglect your mental and physical well-being. So I think that taking the time in the summer to change that and get back into working on yourself is super, super important. And now that you have all this time away from school, it's a good time to focus on that. You've made it to the end of this video. I really hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you're able to get inspired and find something to do this summer and make it the best it can be. You don't have to be doing crazy things every single day to make the summer memorable. Let me know what you have planned for your summer vacation. I also hope everyone had a good end to their school year and I'm so excited to be doing more summer content for you guys. Don't forget to follow all my social medias and don't forget to check out JJ's house. The link is in the description and use my code Kendrick or 10% off. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.